Hey, good morning, YouTube. Today's video, it is a throwback. We got something special. As I'm recording this video, it is Sunday. Today is the last day for MLB The Show 17 servers to be up and running. I think they go down later today at some point. It's the end of an era. This was my second favorite MLB The Show ever. 16 was my favorite. Um, 17 is also the first MLB The Show game I streamed on Twitch. Back in the day, um, we grinded every day, all the programs, all the, the stats, everything to get all the cards and it was the beginning of the MLB the show era on my channel and my community people like Nats fan and Scuffy was the first Scuffy and Clutch were the first two to host me it was it was a really awesome time in the community uh, the community's blown up a lot since then a lot more people back then it was really smaller uh, more tight-knit and it was a lot of a lot of fun I, I really really loved MLB the show 17 it's the last one I really could play all day and and not get burnt out ever since then the games have been lackluster in my opinion but anyway it's not what this is about. I'm going to give you my top 10 favorite cards in MLB The Show 17 to use. And then you can let me know down in the comment section your favorite cards from that game if you played the game. Because uh, I would love to hear it. But here we go. All right, at number 10, it's Tim Lincecum, 99 overall. Uh, it's a hard work card, flashback. This card was so much fun. He had a four seam change up, 12, six curveball slider sinker. Yeah, you can see the stats. How much different does this look as compared to what we're at now with MLB The Show 21? Yeah, 99 break on his pitches. He didn't throw hard, but break mattered and you could locate better than anything uh with mlb the show 17 you could use uh analog pitching you could use whatever pitching you wanted and you could dot pitches and it was a lot more fun. i don't know i it, i just thought it was a lot more fun to pitch in 17 that's the last time i've really had fun this year hasn't been very bad pitching if you use pinpoint it's been pretty fun and that's really what's carried me in this year's game but this is that's definitely what carried me in 17 and 16. i've never been an overly great hitter but i was a, usually a pretty good pitcher and tim lincecum was one of the best pitching cards that's why i have him at number 10. all right at number nine another pitcher 99 overall finest Kenley Jansen this finest set was so good in 17 and Kenley was a beast he had max K per nine walks per nine because back then stats maxed out at 99 there was no 100 plus stat 99 break 97 velocity 95 control 94 clutch he had a cutter slider sinker and he was disgusting like he was so hard to hit like he was so good and it was one of my favorite players to use he was my second favorite pitcher to use just ahead of tim lincecum and there's one more pitcher on this countdown that was my favorite and uh, some people are probably already gonna know who that is but anyways kenley jansen was a beast i always enjoyed closing games with kenley and it was definitely one of my favorite cards that's why i have him at number nine all right at number eight it's the man the machine albert pool holes 99 all-star hardware card as you can see his stats contact 97 97 power 98 99 vision 94 discipline clutch this this card raked i absolutely love this card i didn't get to use it a ton but i did get to use it a little bit and i absolutely loved albert as far as card art goes this is probably the best pool holes card we've had in the game too the card art in 17 was really really good i just enjoyed the way they did the flashback cards and the live series card art was really good too and the diamonds live series were really nice but this pool holes was disgusting he hit everything hard i just wish we could play a little longer i, I just wish we could get back to the feeling that these cards had in 17 because albert pool holes was an absolute beast and I loved using pools. He's number eight on my list. Number seven for me, another first baseman. I liked him a little more than pools, and that was the 99 finest Joey Votto. Uh, he didn't have as much contact as pools against lefties, but all his stats were comparable otherwise in that great vision. It's just something about his swing, man. His swing was so good. Just like this year's card they just put out for the player of the month is so nice. This card was very nice too. I loved using Joey Votto. I've always liked using Joey Votto cards in MLB The Show, and this is my favorite one. The new player of the month one we're gonna see. I've only played one game with him so far and two homers. Spoiler alert, that was two days ago's video, so go check it out. But Joey Votto is very nice in 17. And his the top's finest set, like I said, was really, really good. Votto had a nice, quick, smooth swing. And you really needed that, especially with some of the movement uh, the pitches had in 17 and how fast they threw. You really had to have nice, quick swings. And swing mattered the most in 17 and 16 and 15 because of the pitch speeds and the, and the way the ball moved and just the reaction and the timing window. Yeah, Joey Votto's number seven for me. Number six, this was my third. 
third baseman from the point that I got him until the end of the game. And that's David Wright. As you can see, his power against righties was 74 against lefties, 97, 99 contact against lefties, 90 righties, 72 vision. This card played even better than those stats. Like his fielding was really good. He ran okay. And his swing was just really good. He was glitchy swing, man. I, David Wright, it seemed like so many people had David Wright in their lineup. We need David Wright back in the game because his cards were always so much fun. As far as right-handed hitter goes, he he was one of the best in the game. I'm guessing that David Wright will be mentioned in the comments a few times, but he's number six on my list. All right, now we get into the top five, and we're going to start with the Hoppa, the hardware Bryce Hoppa. He was my right fielder. His vision was lower than most of the cards that are, I think all the cards that are on my top 10 at 57, but man, that swing. You're talking about a stupid glitchy swing. 97, 94 contact, 99, 91 power. And this, this card was ridiculous. Much like the new Harper that we got, um, this one was crazy good. And I love the card art on this one, the, 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 the stance and everything. Uh, it was one of my favorite cards obviously he was number five bryce harper played a decent outfield too you know he had a really good arm and uh you you can't beat a swing there was nothing better than the bryce harper swing still is i still love harper cards he's number five and number four is the my favorite pitcher from uh, mlb the show 17 alex reyes future star i i love this card four seam 12 cur uh, 12 6 curve change up sinker slider uh 90 uh, 89 k per nine 82 hits per nine 87 stamina the 99 velocity 93 break i i just absolutely love pitching with this card uh i used him in diamond dynasty 154 innings 14 wins with him a 2.40 era 0.79 with two complete games i had a shutout uh yeah his his stats for me like i wish i could have used them more i didn't get him until later in the year this was my favorite pitcher i love the alex reyes card they brought it back and it wasn't as good when they brought it back but in 17 he was disgusting absolutely disgusting and this is my favorite pitcher in mlb the show 17 easily and he's number four on my favorite cards list all right number three is going to be a little bit of surprise maybe i don't know a lot of people had this card in their in their lineup because he could play anywhere and he was a switch hitter he played literally anywhere first third short second left center right the only place he didn't play was catcher and you could put this guy anywhere he had a glitchy swing his stats look like they're just pretty good for you know he's a 97 overall but this card played like a 99 plus this card was disgusting and everybody had him on their bench if they didn't have him in their lineup he was one of the best swings in the game in 17 and he, he did it from both sides of the plate i wish we could get a flashback of this card again someday and it's as good as it was in 17 because this was a lot of fun to use this card ben zobris also star card oh, I, miss it. I just i miss it i don't know what to say all right at number two might be a card that some people have at number one i don't i i didn't even i thought about maybe not even putting him on the list because he's so disgusting and so cheesy but that's pepe alazar 99s and everything he was the the ultimate cheat code so disgusting like just absolutely disgusting and he was hard to get you had to do so much stuff to get pepe alazar i didn't get to use him but a few times and uh it was mostly just it was just in friendly so i didn't even get to use him in diamond dynasty but uh yeah he's a disgusting card glad they don't do anything like this again unless they actually get the actual player the year before was more like barry bonds but this one was a switch hitter and he was absolutely disgust play anywhere in the outfield and it didn't matter because he had 99s across the board. It, he's probably going to be number one on a lot of people's list, but number one for me was an easy choice, and I'm going to show you right now. Number one for me was the man, the myth, the legend, Carlos Beltran, switch hitting outfielder. <sighs> I'd love to get this card back in the game. 81 contact right, 84 left, 99 power against right, 95 against left, 80 vision. And this card played well above this. this card played like he he had plus 100 stats it was the most glitchiest disgusting card and pretty much anybody will tell you that great outfielder as well i think i used him in dynasty yeah i did 509 plate appearances 142 games 304 average 37 homers 88 rbis and if you know me i'm not the most amazing hitter 948 ops 615 slugging i'm not the most amazing hitter in the world i'm more of a good pitcher but look at those stats with this card that tells you how gross this card actually is if i have those stats in diamond dynasty with him. he was so good i would love to get this card back in mlb the show at some point i don't know when we will if we will but carlos beltran is probably my all-time favorite mlb the show card i i say probably because I'd really have to sit down and think about it. But I'm pretty sure the answer would be this is my all-time favorite uh, Diamond Dynasty card. Carlos Beltran, all hail the king. 
Carlos Beltran. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, this trip down memory lane, the ticket counters and everything, the great cards that we had. It was so much fun playing in 17. I wish we could get back to that feeling, man. I, I enjoyed 18 as well. That's because that's the year I got partnered and we had a great community and a lot of fun. And uh, ever since then, I've just been really burnt out at MLB The Show. Nothing has felt the same since 16 and 17. And I hope someday we get that same feeling back again man because i miss it i i really do i loved 17 and it's sad to see the servers being shut off and that you won't be able to play it anymore because it would have been a lot of fun to maybe put together a tournament back you know with that game again because just for the heck of it but it's gone now never to be forgotten i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up i appreciate it very very much if you have not subscribed to the channel yet hit the subscribe button we're getting close to a thousand i want to see who the 1000 sub is going to be and if you have any comments leave them in the comment section let me know your favorite cards from mlb the show 17 let me know what you thought about my list i hope you have a great monday uh there's a big stream coming out for mlb the show later today we'll be watching it on my twitch channel at twitch.tv backslash big old buck i stream monday through friday 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central. If it's a content day, we usually go live at, at noon, though. So come hang out. We have a great community. We have a lot of fun and a lot of laughs. So until next time, you can catch me right here. Same buck time, same buck channel.